Do you want another take at that? Yeah, I don't come back. <laughs> Any particular memories that are going to stand out for you? Um, it's a lot. I got a lot. I got a lot in my head. Um, it's too early. It's too early. I can't. I can't really think of think of one specific one right now. Maybe you ask me later. I, I got you. Okay. What will the emotions be like for you? And uh, who do you have? Um, uh, it'll, it'll be high. It'll be high. Um, it's, it's like uh, I got here in the blink of an eye. So, um, you know, uh, my advice to anybody, you know, doing it is just be you don't know, take any moment for granted. And um, but yeah, my, my, my family's coming out. My mom, my grandmother, some of my extended family, my uncle. So uh, have some, a lot of love out here. Yeah. Kipper, your role has evolved from you know kind of a wing guy. You're you know a primary post guy. What's your path and your journey been like in these last three years to, to kind of the role you fit now? Uh, it's been it's been a lot of ups and downs here. Um, as far as my as far as my role goes, um, I mean I've always been you know just you know willing to do whatever the coach you know asks me. Um, you know just like any other one of the one through sixteen guys uh, on the team and um, you know, that allows us to be most effective so you mentioned that effectiveness the most successful season you guys have had since you've been here what has this kind of meant to you in your last season that you guys are in the position that you are uh, it means a lot it means a lot just uh, knowing that I've been through the process uh, thus far um, like I said it's been a lot of ups and downs and um, you know very liberating knowing that I can um, stand here at the end of, end of the season um, in contention with you know the top top teams in the country and uh, in our conference, which I think is the best in the country this year. So, does a season like this just make all those downs way more worth it in, in the end? Absolutely, absolutely. Because um, you know you know you went through it uh, for a reason, and uh, you know uh, it's a testament to you know um, hard work, you know paying off. Perseverance being important. So, coach was pretty open that he asked a lot of you his first year here. How has the relationship between you two grown and developed from from day one to senior day? Um, it's, it's been great, man. It's been great. Um, you know, I think you, uh, every 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 you know young young athlete um, probably probably needs that, uh, especially you know it's your first time you know away, and you know you're going into a, a situation where you know. You're put in, put in that situation to grow. You know, you want to grow um, not just in your respective sport, but you know, as a young uh, as a young man or woman. So um, it's, it's been great. Um, you know, coach is a great guy, and uh, he treats us all you know like his own. So. In terms of your family, kid, what's your guess on a more emotional moment tomorrow night or graduation? Uh, probably graduation. Probably graduation. Uh, uh, hit my mom. You know, pretty hard, but. Uh, you know, tomorrow will be def definitely be emotional. Um, just know it's gonna be my last time uh, playing here in the State Farm Center. Um, it's crazy. I, I got here when this when this place was being built. Uh, you know, I think when I got here, the, those guys were playing in, uh, in Springfield, I think. And um, so yeah, just to just to see the uh, evolution of, of this place and um, you know uh, our our success as a team and what is what is brought uh, to this to this venue has been special. So. I say I think besides Coach Walker, you've been here the longest of anybody. Yeah. What do you think about that? Just how long well, you've been here, how far you've come? Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy to think about. Um, I, it's crazy. I've been talking to uh, some of my other teammates uh, more recently here, just about um, old stuff that went on, and um, you know, just rehashing a whole bunch of memories. And uh, you know, I, I think um, this place is very special uh, because of the people in it. You know, um, say that time and time again. And uh, I think that's what's most important. I think that's what uh, has made it so uh, so uh, joyful of a ride. So. I know last year AJ was considered the old man in the group, but th this year is kind of you. What was that? Just kind of like being the old, uh, the oldest out of this group in this bunch. With the babies in here, man. <laughs> uh, nah, it's, uh, it's it's been great. It's been great. Um, I don't. I never feel old. I don't feel old at all. But um, 
some well some days they make me feel old, but um, uh, it's, it's it's been great. It's been great uh, getting to connect with these uh, younger guys and you know share some some insight and uh, give them some perspective um, whenever I see them going through some some things that um, you know we've all had to go through uh, at that point in time. So. What did you learn about yourself, Kipper, from a, a coaching change to uh, your, your role? What did you learn in these four years here? Um, a great deal. A great deal of, of things, uh, you know, like, like I said, not only in the basketball court, but um, about myself, um, as I think anybody does uh, going through the, this period of time. I think it's a period of time, you know, where you, you learn a lot about yourself. Um, I mean, life is constant evolution, obviously, but, you know, this point in time in particular is, uh, is very uh, insightful. You know, you got to be real introspective to grow um, as a person. And um, I think uh, these guys have all helped me do that um, from the players uh, to the staff. So I think I learned a lot about myself for sure. I'm not sure if you're aware of it. Akron did run a record season title. So do you keep in touch with Coach Gross? And, uh, um, I, 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 I talked to him before the, uh, the season started. He actually came out here. Uh, they had a camp, um, uh, like, a, like a showcase, where coaches came out and they recruited. But, yeah, that's forever my guy, man. Um, I'm, I'm happy for uh, Gross. And I think Ford is over there, too. Shout out to him. That's my guy, too. And, um, you know, I'm happy for all the success they're having. I just seen, uh, like, a, like, a highlight. Somebody got dunked on over there in the jar. And, um, you know, they're just going crazy. You know, they, they, they clinched, right? Uh, right, right. So, yeah, yeah, man. Uh, shout out to him. And, um, you know, he, he, he's a hardworking guy. And, um, he puts his all into, you know, everything he does. So, yeah. And Samson's not even out here to speak for himself. What's he meant to you guys play on the court every day and then just off the court? Big time. Big time. Samson has been an integral piece of this team. Um, you know, obviously what he does doesn't show up, you know, on, on, on a piece of paper. But, um, you know, he, he means the world to this team uh, by how hard he, he comes in here and makes us work every day and um, competes. And, you know, um, you know, if you're one of the better guys on this team, you're going to have to prove it every day, you know, because uh, he's just he's got that competitive nature. And, um, you know, he's probably top three most athletic guys I've seen come through the program, uh, quiet as kept. Um, and uh, he, he works his ass off, you know, every day uh, in the gym. He, he's working on his game. So, uh, yeah, Samson's a special guy. This is an Iowa team that you guys played up there. They're coming here, both playing for double buys. What did you guys learn from that first match that you're going to try and fix? And how's it going to shake out tomorrow? Um, hopefully we got some better officiating. <laughs> uh, no, I think, uh, I think, um, I think defense, man, obviously, that's what we hang our hat on. And, uh, you know, if we can, you know, key in on uh, some of those guys and, and, and do a better job defensively, uh, especially in Kip's transition, senior. I, I don't think know. Uh, would be good. This I is, love this kid. This my boy, man. We're going to get Trina, you know, um, different hair. Here. What are you doing? <laughs> I love you, Trent. Uh, yeah, nah, so, um, yeah, to do a better job in transition defense, I think uh, we'll be all right. That older guy and Andre to join on the program. What is he meant and kind of shaping what Andre wants his place to do about? Um, I, uh, Drake came in. Uh, he fit right in. You know, uh, I think he's got a lot of. You know, he's got a lot of competitiveness in his uh, in his DNA. Man, he brings that every every day, every night uh, to the court, whether it's you know practice or a game. Um, so I mean, he, he, he literally, literally like fit right in. You place them in in, in his uh, role and. Uh, he flourished uh, just you know, solely based off that, you know, not even, uh, even um, mentioning his talent and um, what, a, what, a, what a talent he is as a player. So, What about, I guess, Tyler, just to round out the seniors? Well, I, mean, I mean, I know he's, you know, he, he's been in a lot of universities. I mean, Stephen F. Austin, um, Oklahoma State, now here. But, uh, I mean, I guess just talking about him a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, for sure. Um, people don't know Tyler. T- Tyler get a lot of buckets, man, on these guys. Flat out, I'm going to tell you that right now. Tyler get a lot of buckets every day on these guys. Um, but uh, and, he, and he's very smart, man. You know, he's an extension of the, of the, of the guy. So, um, you know, he's a very smart basketball player, uh, very cerebral. And, um, you know, he, he's able to shed, shed some wisdom on, you know, everybody, just about everybody in here, whether it's the coaches or the players. Uh, he, he sees the game um, very diff- uniquely. So, uh, Thanks, Kip. Yeah. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you.